here. Judy Holt. Her topic today is building and maintaining health from the inside out. Judy is a certified holistic life coach with over 25 years in the enhancing health industry. She is passionate about educating and making a difference for others with a holistic approach. She crafts a plan to inspire others to reach well-being in all areas with a body, mind, and spirit alignment, and also incorporates law of attraction principles. And uh, I, she sent a short two-minute video in the Science Behind the 30-Day Wellness Plan, which I will share below in the, in the Facebook uh, chat, as well as her website and stuff, so you can, can check that out. So I will fade into the background now, Judy, and let you take over and let you go. Great. Thank you so much, Shauna. So um, pleased and honored to be here. There's just so many great speakers, so many great topics. Can't wait to hear them all over the rest of today and tomorrow. And I hope you guys have found super um, beneficial tips and information that can help you. So I'm just going to screen share my slides and uh, we'll get started. Can you see my slides? Okay, Shauna. Yes, I can. Sorry, it takes me a minute to get, find the mute. <laughs> but yes, okay. yes, I can. They're coming in clear. Okay, awesome. So welcome, everybody, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about wellness and more opportunities to help you feel your best and to thrive, because I think that really is the goal, uh, you know, especially now during what's going on in the world is let's thrive and not just survive. So is this you, speaking of just surviving? Are you tired of feeling tired? We're gonna talk about building health from the inside out and lots of different tips and tools that we can use. And lots of it will not be things that you haven't heard before, I'm sure, but maybe there's one little tidbit or nugget that you will get that will go, oh, I hadn't thought about that for a while. So we're gonna talk about total wellness in all areas because I believe that it's about a mind, body and spirit connection and having everything in balance. I know balance is a little bit of an elusive word, but I do believe it is something that we can strive for. So let's start with um, the acronym here is creation. So how do we create what we want out of life? It all starts with choice. Everything is a choice. Every day, every moment, every action we take, every word we speak, everything that goes in our mouth, it's all a choice. We need to be uh, aware of those choices and having rest. Every day, the importance of rest to rejuvenate, to uh, recharge, to reset our bodies. And I'm not just talking about a good sleep. So we will get into what that actually means to rest. Environment, we'll talk about a little bit about our environmental, um, you know, environment that's around us and how that affects us and some things that we can do to uh, create a space that helps us to thrive. We will talk about activity because fitness is a huge part of our wellness. We will talk about trust, you know, trusting our body, that our body knows wellness at any given time, and it can always get back to wellness if we're not currently feeling healthy and well. And our interpersonal relationships, how much they affect our wellness, our outlook on life, our mindset, and then of course we'll touch on nutrition. So we're gonna get a little bit of everything today. So I wanna ask you, what's your daily self-care practice? And, you know, on a scale of one to 10, where would you say your health is right now? So 10 being like awesome, feeling your best, the healthiest maybe you've ever been. Uh, I don't know anybody actually that's a 10. I think most people were always a work in progress. So I'm hearing a lot of seven or eights. Uh, some people are under five. So, you know, that's a big target, some things to work on. But we all have an area that we can improve on. We're always learning, growing, and evolving every day. So this is not a guilting um, conversation or beat yourself up. This is just, uh, you know, conversation or actually an awareness for yourself as to where you are on that scale of one to 10. And then the next question I want you to consider is, and you can post this in the chat, that would be fantastic, is where is your current stress level on a scale of one to 10? Okay, so let's begin. So time for you scheduled into your calendar each day. That's what I call a daily self-care practice. And I believe this is the cornerstone of keeping well. It's taking time every day for a mindfulness piece. And that might be journaling. It might be reading a book. It might be meditating. It might be going for a walk. It might just be deep breathing. 
Mindfulness looks like a lot of different things and it can look different for everybody. But just making sure that you're scheduling that time in every day because what we don't schedule in usually doesn't happen in our busy lives. Uh, fitness, and we really wanna make sure we're moving our bodies every day and learning. Um, the learning piece is so, so super important because if we're not learning every day, we're not growing. And if we're not growing, we're standing still and, and we're actually degressing in our life. So I love Raman Sharma, who's one of my favorite authors, and he talks about health set, mindset, soul set, and heart set. We want to look at all four of those things and keep them in alignment. So how do we support our immune system? Because there's a lot of talk around, of course, immune health now. So I teach in my line of work about building health. Uh, when we have take, done the work to build our health, we don't have to be so concerned about being in fear about our immune system and um, you know about getting diseases or anything, really. It's about building health every single day with those daily choices. And the self-care practice is, I believe, the cornerstone. And we're going to get into some other things that sort of tie in with that. So a good sleep. We all know how we feel when we don't have a good sleep. So really, 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 I cannot stress enough the importance of going to bed at the same time every night, getting into the routine of, you know, you wake up at the same time and it just, your body loves that rhythm. Turning off your, uh, you know, any technology an hour before bed. If you're watching a funny comedy before bed, not a problem, but please, I beg you, do not watch the news, especially before you go to bed. Um, turn off your interaction with cell phones and, you know, it's just so many things to take our time right now and to um, keep us stimulated. So you really want to set the stage for a good sleep. Stress reduction, super important. The mindfulness piece is really helpful for that, but we will talk about that a little bit more. The exercise and rest, big way to boost our immune system. Of course, what we put in our body usually affects our health and our immune system and keeping kids healthy. We've got healthy, if we've got children around us and they're healthy, there's much more likely that, that we will be as well. So the next one I want to get into is the a little bit more on sleep. So sleep helps regulate the immune system. A lack of sleep can weaken the body's immune system. Tips for a good night's sleep. So talking about going to bed at the same time every day, turning off electronics, also no caffeine. Try to, to work on a good rule of thumb is no caffeine six hours before bed. So if you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, you know, from, from five o'clock on, you're not having any caffeine. Avoiding alcohol. Well, you know, I know a lot of us like our glass of wine, but, you know, try to have it with dinner and not have it close to bedtime because it can really affect your sleep, you know, cause nighttime awakening. And also as we get into um, some of us in the, uh, you know, area of hot flash time, <laughs> We, we, we will probably find that having wine and alcohol late at night will trigger uh, an uneven sleep pattern. So exercise, your body and your mind relaxes when your body's tired. Doesn't mean you have to go out jogging at nine o'clock at night, but do make sure during the day you've had some fitness activity. So how does stress affect our immune system? Hmm. So one way our body reacts to stress is by suppressing our immunity. Ways to manage stress. Exercise again, staying positive, meditating, unplugging. I love the picture of the girl on the right of the screen who's just got this blissed out look. And, you know, that really is how I feel when I do my daily meditation every day. It's my time for me and nothing. I won't let anything take that time away. It's just like in my calendar, at least 10 or 15 minutes every morning. Uh, and stress also triggers unhealthy behaviors. So we may find that when we're under a lot of stress, that we're tending to eat high fat, high sugar foods that we're smoking or drinking too much alcohol, that we're not getting enough exercise. And a common thing I always hear is, oh, I'm too busy to exercise. Um, if that's you, then I would suggest that uh, you're somebody who really needs to exercise more than anyone else because stress is so much more reduced when you have fitness time every day. So taking time to meditate, deep breathe, uh, being outside in nature is such a fantastic way to de-stress and to just get really grounded and rooted in your body. What's your daily fitness plan? So I encourage you to find something you enjoy. 
So first of all, if you are someone who is just starting some type of a fitness plan and you're not really prone to being a lover of exercise, I wouldn't jump in with, uh, okay, my goal is every day I'm going to go walk for an hour. That is most likely way too big of a stretch for you. So let's start small and let's be consistent. So you might want to have a goal of three times a week. I'm going to walk for 20 minutes. You know, that's more doable. If you're somebody who's already doing regular fitness, that's awesome. But if you want to stick with it, make sure it's something you enjoy. Why would any of us stick with something that we don't like, that we're not having fun with? So key things, something you enjoy consistent either every day or at least, you know, every other day, preferably a little bit every day, because then it becomes a part of your lifestyle. Having an accountability partner is huge as well, because we have an accountability partner with anything we know we're going to stick with it a lot more likely. So moderate exercise also can boost immune system, immune cells in your body. So here's the consistency thing coming up again. Exercising. So recommended two and a half hours per week. So this is really only a half an hour, uh, five days a week. Like that's not really very much exercise. Actually, yeah, like not enough. She does only like half an hour, three. Yeah, that's right, five times. So I would encourage to at least strive for that as the bare minimum, but try to make it daily is kind of the long term goal because, again, if it's done daily, then it's part of your regular lifestyle choice. You want to use choose exercises that increase your heart rate. So you've got the cardiovascular benefit, but you also want to do something that uh, builds resistance. So it can be lifting weights, it could be resistance bands. Uh, you really wanna make sure you're building a body mass that's lean and supporting your bone mass. Uh, as we get older, of course, we have a higher risk of osteoporosis. So we really wanna make sure that we're getting that resistance in our movement. It doesn't mean you have to join a gym and start lifting weights, you know, just have a few light weights in your home and some resistance bands. And there's tons of online programs and classes that you can do. So supplementing properly, um, we also increase our needs for nutrition when we're exercising, but just to keep our um, health regulated, it's important to supplement daily, and we want to start our exercise slow and build up. Again, making it a habit. So let's dive into some nutrition tips a little bit. I love this picture with all the yummy fresh fruits and vegetables, because that's the kind of nutrition that we really want to strive for is plant-based. So optimum nutrition is a key to maintaining a healthy immune system and immune system cells rely on protein to stay strong. So what kind of protein uh, is recommended? So lean meats, fish, poultry, non-fat, low-fat dairy. Uh, I'm really a believer in having a lot of, um, you know, I, I don't eat a lot of meat, but I eat a lot of plant-based things. Uh, although I love chicken and fish. I really strive to, in my diet, to make sure it's as whole and natural foods as possible. So at least 70% of what I eat is fresh fruits and vegetables. And that doesn't mean that you have to be a vegetarian. There's nothing wrong with adding some fish and some chicken and a little bit of, you know, lean, um, you know, organic red meat once in a while. But I think the key is this plant-based as much as you can. Look at the amount of fruits and vegetables that you can get. Um, from the powerful antioxidant benefits, vitamin C, vitamin A, and minerals, zinc, magnesium that you're getting in your fruits and vegetables. It's absolutely crazy how much nutrition is in live whole foods. And then plenty of whole grains. You know, there's tons of great benefits with beans and legumes, uh, healthy fats. So you want to be looking at your omega 3 fatty acids every day to get in your diet and monounsaturated fats. So things like olive oil, nuts, and seeds, avocados are a fantastic source of omega 3s. A lot of people are not eating much fish. And um, so they really need to look at supplementing with omega 3s to make sure that they're getting enough. Because if we're not getting enough healthy fats, the balance of everything else in our body is off. So that's a really important one to pay attention to. So have you ever done a cleanse? And uh, why I'm talking about this is when we talk about health from the inside out, it's really, really important that we look at all areas of our health. And when we reset our diet, what we're doing is we're really um, helping our, our digestion to get a rest, first of all, but we're resetting it with new varieties of foods. Now, I'd love to know in the chat if you could post if you've ever done a cleanse before and what your experience has been. 
you know, did you find you had more energy afterwards? Did, did it help with brain fog or was it really hard? Did you find that you were really being deprived of things that you wanted to eat and you had a lot of cravings? So um, I promote a seven day healthy cleanse, which is all about just plant-based eating for seven days. So fruits and vegetables and berries and unlimited helps to reset your diet. And it also kickstarts your metabolism. And why it does that is because during this cleanse, you don't actually have any protein at all. And that gives a liver a rest, but it really helps your metabolism to just kind of reboot itself and start working a little better. So of course, our metabolism is um, our ability to burn calories. So we want a high metabolism all throughout life. And as we get older, past about 45, 50, our metabolism really noticeably slows down. So any of you past 50, you've probably noticed that, you know, you're eating the same kind of foods and doing the same kind of activity, but you might have gained a little bit of weight. And you're like, wow, you know, I'm not eating any different. I'm still exercising. You know, what's with this extra few pounds? So some of it is probably, you know, the quarantine 15. But I think a lot of it has to do with just our metabolism slowing down and, and hormonal fluctuations. There's a lot of contributors there. So what a cleanse does is it kickstarts that metabolism and also helps you begin a little bit of weight loss because of course your metabolism is working better and it gives your liver a rest. Our liver is a super important filter system of the body and it's really important for it to get a rest and how it gets a rest is by removing uh, dairy products and meat and sugar and alcohol and gluten. Uh, you know, all those things that we bombard ourselves with every day and our liver is just like, whoa, do I ever get a break? Like I'm having to work all the time. So that's one of the big benefits of cleanse. Also more energy and it helps you to develop more plant-based eating habits. So how do you do the seven day healthy cleanse? If you're interested in finding out more about this, you can always post in the chat or I'll have my contact at the end of this presentation because I really would love to get you the information on the benefits of this cleanse. I personally do it two times a year and have for the past three years. I've had hundreds of people go through this cleanse. Uh, they get complete support with recipes, shopping list, a daily check-in. Uh, and just as I mentioned before, it's unlimited vegetables, fruits, berries. You're basically grazing all day long, so you're not hungry. Um, in fact, I find what most people have a challenge with on the cleanse is learning to eat more frequently. I think quite often we starve ourselves. We, you know, we get busy during the day and we're sometimes going through gaps of five or six hours without eating anything. Now, I get the benefits of inter intermittent fasting, but I don't believe that it's good for you to be doing that on a consistent, ongoing, long term basis to go from, you know, maybe eating breakfast at nine o'clock and then having nothing till two or three or four o'clock in the afternoon or having lunch and then having dinner at seven o'clock at night and nothing in between. So, you know, it depends on the body. Some people really do well with intermittent fasting. I think majority of people really need to eat more regularly and they need to have protein with every meal and every snack to really help to balance their blood sugar levels. But everybody has a different body and a different need. But um, with this cleanse, you are grazing all day on fruits and vegetables, which are super low calorie. And of course, all plant-based. So your body loves it. You can have stir fries, you can have soups, smoothies, salads, baked and raw veggies. So you have a ton, a ton of choices. The things that you're avoiding are alcohol, sugar, caffeine, gluten, and meat, but you're not hungry again. And you're increasing your water because if you don't increase your water, where is uh, you know, all this beneficial fiber going to do? It's, it's not going to help you unless you have the water to flush your body out. So the support is really important. Uh, again, please post in the chat if you've been on a cleanse and what your experience has been. You know, did you have any support on that? Or did you just kind of go on your own and well, wow, like, you know, I went and bought this at a store and now let's go home and have fun with it. So the support is a huge piece of it. So there's something that, um, that I share in my business and my wellness practice, and it's called um, the Prove It Challenge. And it's a 30-day wellness plan. And it helps you to feel healthier, more energized, more focused and ready for anything. And it's scientifically proven to work. And what I love about the scientifically proven is means it's actually got published clinical studies to prove that the cleanse works, to prove that the whole 30 day plan works. And that is a really, really important piece because a lot of times we 
you know, get ourselves into doing different programs and plans. And, you know, there's no science behind it. There's no proof, you know, is it safe? Uh, is it messing up our body's metabolism after we do it? Like, there's just a lot of things there that are really important questions to ask, to ask about any kind of a plan that you might want to start. So recipe for a healthy body, a mind and healthy immunity all begins with small habits and small habits really lead to big wins. So if you're considering making a health change, the first step is you need to see yourself in a new way. You need to have a new identity. And I'm not saying that we're going to go out and change our name, <laughs> but what I mean by that is um, I love basing a lot of what I do on a book by um, James Cleary, and it's called Atomic Habits, James Cleary. So if you can get your hands on that book or listen to it on Audible, Atomic Habits, he talks so much about the importance of no big change or no change at all will actually be sustainable unless we change how we, we look at ourselves. So if you want to lose 10 pounds or five pounds or whatever it might be, you need to have a new identity, a new picture of yourself being the leaner you. If you want to get healthier and more fit, then maybe you need to get yourself some workout clothes. You need to have a consistent time of, of exercising, maybe work with a personal trainer, uh, you know, have a, a mindset about, okay, I'm leaner and I'm healthier. I've got my workout clothes. I put those on. Here's my time to go exercise. You know, you're getting this picture, this image of yourself of being a healthy, thriving, fit person. You know, in this picture here, actually on the screen of the lady running and jogging with her significant other or friend. I mean, that's a great picture right there to be posting around your house if that's one of your new identities to get leaner and fitter. So that's a great one. That book really helps to hone in on what your habits are and how you can create a new habit and let go of old ones. There's also something that's really cool called habit stacking and that's stacking a new habit onto ones that you're already doing. So if you're already walking every day and you want to, uh, um, you know, maybe just increase that, then it's like, okay, I'm going to increase it by 10 minutes every day or, you know, 10 minutes this week and 20 minutes each time next week. So that's stacking on top of an already good habit that you like that's working for you. So back to, you know, here's some small changes that lead to big wins. So we talked about getting enough sleep, the importance of that, about de-stress techniques every day. So deep breathing, uh, meditating. If you've never meditated before, I encourage you to get, get an app on your phone. I love the Hay House app. So H-A-Y and then house. Um, you can get it for free for a couple of weeks to try it out. And then I think it's like 14 or no, it's $10 a month going forward. It's got wonderful varieties of guided meditations. So if you've not done meditation before, a guided meditation is certainly a much easier place to begin and just set a time for yourself, you know, 10 minutes every morning. And I love to do that in the morning because otherwise the day runs away on you. And before you know it, it's time to go to bed and you haven't done the things that you want. So have a plan for de-stress techniques daily, uh, daily out outdoor fitness or daily fitness and outdoor time. So I'm sure you all know how much better you feel when you get out in nature every day. Even if it's raining, snowing, doesn't matter what the temperature is, try to at least get outside for 10 or 15 minutes every day and move your body and deep breathe. You know, I love work from home and I love to just get out, go up my deck and just deep breathe. You know, maybe it's like 10 deep breaths and a couple of stretches and then I go back inside and work. So taking those breaks this is probably one of the most important pieces is time with loved ones every day. So who are the people in your life that bring you joy? Surround yourself with them. And, you know, I realize it's a little bit harder to see everybody that we, uh, we want to right now, uh, but find a way to surround yourself, whether it's connecting with them on a video chat or Zoom call or, you know, wherever these loved ones might be. Make sure every day you're connecting with somebody that brings you joy because that environment that is around you is hugely effective in your wellness and your health going forward, because that has to do with your mental, uh, your mindset, right? Your, that helps with de-stress because if we've got people around us that are causing stress in our lives, of course, that's going, that energy is going to pick up on us and we are going to feel it. So you might have to do an audit with some of your relationships to make sure that you are really surrounded with loved ones that bring you joy. So 
healthy diet choices, another big piece that we talked about, making sure that you're eating regularly, um, protein with your snacks and your meals, and, you know, consider doing a cleanse, lots more water. I always say lots more water because I haven't met anyone that really couldn't, um, you know, really ha is having enough water. I think our body always wants more. And uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, regular water, but just plain water. Maybe it's water with some fresh lemon and some cucumber in it, or maybe it's warm water with fresh ginger or fresh lemon. There's so many ways that we can spruce up our water and make it taste better. And supplementing to fill in the gaps. So, you know, I always, I put this last because I really believe that all these other choices are usually reflective on keeping healthy and well and building health on a daily basis. And then you supplement to fill in the gaps because, you know, that's what supplements should be taking extra vitamins because we all have diet gaps. We all have lifestyle gaps. We all have extra stress. We all need extra immune support, especially now. So that's the purpose of supplementing. So I do something called a personalized health assessment, and I'm happy to offer that um, free for anybody who is joining us today or recording for this. It helps you know where you are with your nutrition and it gives you a plan to reach your health goals. It's just a quick online assessment that takes under 10 minutes to fill in. And you just answer questions about your lifestyle and your diet and your health goals. And then it gives you an actual plan that's emailed to you. And then I touch base with you and we set up a time to connect about it. And the whole goal is to just help you thrive and feel your best. So if you would like the link for this person, there's absolutely no cost to do it, no requirement to do anything. Um, afterwards, it's strictly for your own use. Um, post your email in the chat and I will get in touch with you. So also a free gift for anybody who is listening live today. You get the free health, online health assessment, but I'll also give you a free 20 minute follow up chat. And we would usually do that on Zoom. It's really nice to see each other and it's really nice to have the follow-up to, okay, this is what my health goals are and, you know, how can I best support you going forward? Uh, that is, you know, my mission, my work that I do is to support people in whatever their health goals are. So for energy, you want to sleep better. Maybe you've got allergies because springtime brings up a lot of allergies for people like give you some natural options that can make a difference for you uh, lots and lots of ways that we can go with it but it always starts with the personalized health assessment because you know it's no sense throwing a bunch of spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks like we want to make sure that we're honing in on specifically what is going on for you in your life right now and uh, this can also be a chat about you know mental health as well I'm not like the mental health expert but I can certainly give you some mind tips mindset tips that can be helpful. And the prize for today um, is a one hour personal wellness plan creation. So somebody will win that prize. And if you want to get in touch with me, there's all my contact information. And um, I'd be happy to if you want to take a screenshot of this, uh, I'd be happy to get or get in touch with me. Uh, my Facebook page is there, JH Health Coaching. I've got lots of content there with videos and different things that I've recorded, as well as um, other videos to give you a bit more information. And there's also a private Facebook group that you can join called Reset Your Routine. And again, we do videos on there, as well as lots of recipes and wellness tips and things that we share on a daily basis. So yeah, feel free to get um, in touch with me and also post in the chat any comments or questions that you have. I would love to answer them. And I think more importantly is I really want to stress the, um, the holistic approach to wellness, that it's about building health on a daily basis. And it all starts with the very beginning. I talked about choice. In every moment, we have a choice. And we can choose to you know, grow our health and build our health, or we can choose to stay the same which will mean as we time goes on, we will slide back in our health. So, you know, even if you're feeling awesome now and you feel like your health is exactly where you want it to be, that's fantastic. You know, if you're a nine or a 10 on a scale of one to 10 with your health, fantastic. But we thinking every day about how do we, you know, keep growing, keep expanding, keep learning. And it's really important to, to consider a cleanse 
again, to kickstart your metabolism, uh, reset your diet, and just, you know, give your body a fresh, clean slate. And I tell you, there's no better time than spring to do a nice, deep clean of your body. It helps with brain fog. It helps with your mindset, sleep better. Uh, the average weight loss in clinical studies is 6.8 pounds. I've actually not ever met anyone who didn't lose, you know, at least an inch or some weight on the cleanse and that didn't start sleeping better. That's the big um, testimony that I get all the time. And if we have a better sleep, we're feeling more energized, we're healthier, we have a stronger immune system. And we all know that when we sleep great, we feel much better. So happy to uh, answer any chat, any questions, or I love your comments or feedback. Shauna, is there any questions in the chat or any feedback? There are people sharing their uh, email addresses with you. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Mari Robertson and Anissa Thompson. Okay. Want to hear from you and stuff? Maybe while we're waiting for uh, Deborah's time that you could talk to us about how did you end up on this path? Was there something that happened to you in the beginning? Yeah, so I ended up on this path because when I was first, uh, when I grew up on a farm in, in uh, northern BC, a little community in the middle of nowhere, Dawson Creek, actually out in the country, like 26 miles from anywhere. <laughs> and we grew everything. If we didn't grow it ourselves, I didn't eat it. Six brothers and sisters, we all worked on the land. And so basically the bottom line with that was it gave me a real love of nature and whole food eating. I mean, I didn't know what any artificial sweeteners or preservatives or any of that stuff was until I moved out on my own because I never really had packaged food. So when I was in my twenties and I moved out on my own, and was introduced to all of this, you know, world full of aspartame and NutraSweet and chemicals and all these things and packaged things like, whoa, whoa. Like I, of course I had to try it, but I'm like, I do not feel good eating this. And so I was constantly um, helping people with their wellness and they were asking me questions and recipes and what was I doing? And so it was a natural graph, take um, holistic life coach training. Um, I got involved with Shackley Health and Wellness products that I've been um, sharing for well, about 30 years now. I've been using their products, but it went well with my coaching because I needed um, a product liner of it, you know, something to go with the vehicle of sharing um, wellness and, and options and healthy diet and lifestyle. And so I really had that love of nature and love of helping people and teaching and coaching ever since I was a little girl, I was practicing teaching and coaching. Um, my little sisters were my guinea pigs. Um, so yeah, I've really been passionate about how to impact people's wellness in a bigger way for about 30 years now has been my, my big sort of mandate and mission is to help people reach their optimum lifestyle and to thrive. So taken lots of training and courses over the years, but I think I really ended up where I am now because um, just of the passion of wanting to learn and grow on a daily basis and to help people in a bigger way. And Sean, I see you mentioned you love habit stacking. Yeah, that is like the coolest little tip in the Atomic Habits book. I highly recommend getting that book. Um, there's so many other great, great books I could recommend as well, but the habit, the Atomic Habits is just such a, a highlight one that it helps people to make changes because change is hard. Like, let's face it, you know, we're all in routines that we've been doing for a long time and it's not easy to just jump in and go, okay, all of a sudden I'm going to start eating or all of a sudden I'm going to exercise, all of a sudden I'm going to meditate, right? You know, so how do we incorporate those new habits? And I do talk a lot about that when I coach people one-on-one -on -one and uh, share recipes and tips and tools and things to help them to eat healthier as well. I'm not able to see uh, any email addresses here, Shauna. Maybe you could send those to me after for those that- they're, they're, they're in the Facebook group chat. Oh, okay. So I can't access that right now, I guess, but we can, I can go check after or if you can. Yeah, because yeah. maybe some more people will pop in and ask for it. I did share your link to your, the video that you shared also in the Facebook group chat. Awesome. Thank you so much. You bet. And Should we bring Deborah in? See such an honor to be here. I think that it's just such a huge um, gift that you're offering everybody, Shauna, to oh. have all 
these amazing speakers and variety of wellness tips from all areas, you know, really it is body, mind, spirit alignment, because everyone's speaking in one of those three areas, right? Like I believe the pillar of wellness, the pillar of health is about incorporating all of that on a daily basis. Absolutely. For what you do. So 